place in the Sun presenter Johnny Irwin must have known he only had a week left, heartbroken fans said after his death. The beloved escape to the country host touched the lives of so many as he publicly shared his treatment for terminal lung cancer in the three years before his sad death. His family announced the devastating news of his passing on February 2 and said he fought bravely against cancer with unwavering strength and courage. Johnny never shied away from describing the difficult reality of his condition and regularly posted updates for his followers on Instagram. His final video showed him filming the new windows that had installed at his home. Following the news of his death, the post of him worrying about his family's comfort hit hard. Johnny wrote, I was tempted to spray the remaining windows. But after interviewing someone that actually knows what they're talking about I changed my plans. This more than any other Reno has been a fluid process. Check out the film we made on Morning Live on Absa Player, it's worth a watch. Look out for the episode on November 13, 2023. Or go straight to Richard who's tagged. After he passed away. Fans reflected on the post with one commenting, he must have known he had just a week left. Life is outrageously cruel when so many shallow, inflated ego souls survive him. While another said, making changes to his family house as if to make them comfortable after. What a gentleman, loved him on the programs. Despite his diagnosis, Johnny who is dad to son Rex and twins Rafa and Cormac with wife Jess, continued to live life to the fullest. Speaking on the conversations with Jane McClellan podcast a month before he died, he explained, one of the reasons I think him still here is him not a cancer patient. It's always there at the back of your mind, but I'm living with cancer, not dying with cancer. Johnny revealed that he had planned for the future by buying his children gifts for their 18th birthdays. In an interview with Hello! magazine last year, he spoke candidly about how he might be remembered, saying, It pains me to think the twins probably won't remember me. You hear people say, I don't remember my dad. He died when I was so young. I think about that and it breaks my heart because that's what I'm destined to be, really, a footnote in their life. So, I try to have monuments of my love for them. One of the important transactions Johnny completed before his death was to buy the Newcastle house where his boys live, so that they don't have a mortgage hanging over them as they grow up. He also revealed his dying wish in the interview last year, saying, I had a tough upbringing and I've managed to do a lot in my life, despite that, but I don't want them to struggle. A spokesperson for the family shared the news of his death on Instagram on February 2 and wrote, It is with heavy hearts that we share the news of Johnny's passing. A truly remarkable soul, he fought bravely against cancer with unwavering strength and courage. Johnny touched the lives of so many with his kindness, warmth, and infectious spirit. At this time, we kindly ask for the privacy of Johnny's family as they navigate through this profound loss. Their grief is immeasurable, and your thoughts, prayers, and support are deeply appreciated. As we remember the beautiful moments shared with Johnny, let us celebrate a life well lived and a legacy that will forever be etched in our hearts. Johnny may be gone from our sight, but his love, laughter, and memories will live on. Rest in peace, dear Johnny. You will be dearly missed, but never forgotten. His wife Jess paid her own heartbreaking tribute on Instagram to Johnny, saying I will always love you as she vowed to make him proud. She wrote, Good night my favorite. Thank you for everything. I will always love you.
the hardest day has come, a day I prayed wouldn't come. It's with all the sadness in the world that I confirm Johnny has passed away earlier today. His magical brain that continued to fight to the end has now gone to sleep. He has given me more than I could ever have wished for, eight bonkers years of love and adventure and three amazing boys. I will continue to make you proud but only with your love still finding me and guiding me for the rest of my life, me and the boys still need you. Johnny you really were the most handsome man I ever knew and I am so sorry for this cruel end. It really wasn't fair and you didn't deserve any of this. You gave so much time to others and touched everyone you met, I have never experienced anything like the effect you had on people. I love you so much and forever proud of you 30. The Macmillan support line offers confidential support to people living with cancer and their loved ones. If you need to talk, call us on 0808-808-0000. Donate here to Macmillan if you wish to do so.